If we look outside the window on a sunny day, we can see three types of lighting. The sun, light that bounces off of nearby surfaces, and light that reflects from the sky or the atmosphere. In RenderWorks, we can simulate these three types of lighting by using a heliodon for the sun, which we covered in an earlier chapter, and indirect lighting for light that bounces from one surface to the next, which we'll discuss in a new chapter coming up. The third type, light that reflects from the sky, is called in RenderWorks environment lighting. Now this kind of lighting can make an exterior rendering more accurate and believable, especially when it reflects the time of day and the weather conditions. But where it really shines is with interior views, because light from the sky coming in through the windows is a diffused light that bounces around the interior walls and actually can light up a space very nicely. For light that comes from the sky, we use a special kind of layer background that does two things. It displays an image of the sky and also sends light into the scene as if it were a big sky dome over the model. Now, RenderWorks comes with a large selection of layer backgrounds that provide environment lighting. We can also make our own background customized to our specific needs. To select a layer background that already comes provided with RenderWorks, we go to View Set RenderWorks Background and then in the Set RenderWorks Background dialog box, click on the RenderWorks Background drop-down box and select one of the HDRI backgrounds. And then we click OK to finish. So now that we've applied the background to the layer, we need to make sure that the rendering uses light from this background. So we go to View, Set Lighting Options, and in the Lighting Options dialog box, go down to the Environment Lighting area and then select From Current Background and then we click OK to finish. So these are the two basic steps. Select a RenderWorks background that provides environment lighting and then make sure the rendering uses light from this background. Now there are other ways to apply a RenderWorks background as well. We can apply it to a layer by using the navigation palette. In the navigation palette select the design layers tab, right click on the active layer and then select edit and then in the Edit Design Layers dialog box, click on the RenderWorks Background drop-down box and select one of the HDRI backgrounds. And then we click OK to finish and render. We can also apply one of these backgrounds to a viewport. So we select the viewport and then in the Object Info palette, we click on the RenderWorks Background drop-down box to select a background. And then we make sure that the viewport rendering uses light from the RenderWorks background we just selected. So we click on the Lighting Options button and then the Lighting Options dialog box opens and in the Environment Lighting area we select From Current Background. Now this affects only the viewport, not the design layer. And remember that the Lighting Options and the RenderWorks background work together. Now we've seen how to use the pre-made RenderWorks backgrounds that come with RenderWorks, but we can also make our own backgrounds. RenderWorks backgrounds are resources and we create them via the resource manager. We can make two types of environment lighting backgrounds, panoramic image and physical sky. So let's talk about panoramic image first. The panoramic image background uses an imported panoramic image as the source for the background and for the lighting. The image wraps around the model and different views can display different portions of this wraparound image. We can get these images from a wide variety of sources, both on the internet or photos from our own cameras. And in this example, we're seeing a photo made with the panoramic function on a telephone camera, on a cell phone camera. So open the resource manager, click on the resource type drop down box, and then select RenderWorks backgrounds. Now click on the new RenderWorks background button at the bottom of the resource manager the Edit RenderWorks Background dialog box opens. We can give the new background a preferred name now. And then while we're still in the Edit RenderWorks Background dialog box, click on the Background drop-down box and select Panoramic Image. And then the Import HDR or Open EXR, EXR file window opens. Navigate to the location of your preferred image, wherever you have the image stored, and then select the image and click Open. And at that moment, the Edit Panoramic Image Background dialog box opens. And uh, we notice, for example, that the Rotation Data box 
has a place where we can enter a rotation amount in degrees if we want to rotate the image around the center of the of the file and then we click OK to finish so that's the panoramic image background and we can also create a physical sky background and the physical sky background uses built-in tools that come with Vectorworks to customize the appearance and the brightness of the background and of the light that it casts. So let's open the resource manager, click on the resource type drop-down box and then select Renderworks background. Click on the new Renderworks background button at the bottom of the resource manager and now the edit Renderworks background opens and we can give the new background a name and then after that we click on the background drop-down box select physical sky and then we click on options and once we've clicked on options the edit physical sky background dialog box opens and we click on the sky condition drop-down box and select a preferred appearance now we can also control the lighting's brightness and color saturation via the sliders under the environment lighting options if we like and then click OK to finish now the physical sky background has a unique feature. When we use uh, Heliodon with its physical sky and physical sun checkboxes selected, the color of the physical sky background will correspond to the time of day represented by the Heliodon because the two are linked. Remember that once the new background has been created, we need to apply the background to the layer or to the viewport and then make sure that the scene uses light from the new background but if we prefer we can have the light come from one background or from no background and we can have the background image come from a completely different background so to do this as an example we open the lighting options dialog box which is view set lighting options and then the lighting options dialog box opens and at the bottom of the box under environment lighting we click on from selected background instead of from current background and then select a different background for the lighting and this will allow the layer or the viewport to display one background while the lighting comes from a different one.